why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. Oh my goodness, was I thinking? When I'm applying all of this and layering them on top of each other, was Will Smith thinking when he got up from his seat, walk all the way to the stage, release his hand from his body and swing it over and hit Chris Rock on the face? Was he thinking? Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Hi, I know that you can see me and I know that you know that I can feel you watching me. I am the Sensationalist Tina. If you're new to my channel or you're returning, welcome. What happened at the Oscars? Well, well, let me do my makeup. And I know, I know everyone is talking about it and I will too. This is Sensational. So I'm going to be doing my makeup while we talk about the scandal. It's not even a scandal. Why we talk about what happened at the Oscars? Well, if you've been living in the cave or you've been living under the rock, under the rock, or you went on vacation and you turned off your phone and you came back and you're like, wait, what? Or you came back and you still don't know what? Has happened? Well, yes, something happened, and we are going to be discussing it today. Why I do my makeup today? I am going to be using the Real Beauty Foundation on my face today. I want a lighter look, so I'll be applying this. I need to shake this well because the last time I used this, it went all over my outfit. It wasn't pretty at all. So, shake, 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 shake your booty. Okay, start. I'm gonna apply my foundation real quick by dabbing little on my face. Ah! It seems like a lot, but this foundation is so light and it would work on really nicely. So if you've been living under the cage and you don't really know what happened, not living under the cage, living in the cage or whatnot is core, and you don't know what had happened, well, I'll tell you a little bit about it. So on Sunday at the Oscar, the comedian Chris Rock was presenting on stage at the Oscar and he made a few jokes. He made a few jokes and one of the jokes was about Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith's wife. Just as a comedian, the reason why comedians are on the stage is for them to come, make the place a bit more lively. That's a long show. If you watch the Oscar, if you've been there, it's, it's a long show. So in order to keep things exciting, uh, the you know comedians come up and say some few jokes. Since uh, you know it's a long show, people are there sitting for hours and hours. Uh, we need to be entertained, especially us at home. Need to see that people there are enjoying the show and the show is worthy. And by the way, the show has not gotten a good rating for a while now. So, and, and again, this is the first time a black producer is producing this. So it kind of is a big deal. But anyhow, Chris Rock was presenting and he made a few jokes. One of the jokes was about Jada Pinkett Smith. It said something about uh, Jada, I love you. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane too. can't wait to see it, all right? That was Will Smith laughed at the joke. He was so excited. He was laughing. You know, he's on top of the world because he know he's gonna win for the King Richard Award. I was thinking everybody kind of knew he was going to win that award. But when the joke happened, he was so excited. He laughed at the joke. It wasn't a problem. My foundation is done, and now I'm going to be contouring my face using the Mac Studio Fix powder for my contour. So Chris Rock made that joke. Will Smith laughed at the joke. And then Jada Pinkett Smith rolled her eyes. So I believe why Will Smith was laughing, she, he turned around and saw that his wife wasn't enjoying the joke, wasn't okay with the joke. So he decided to like pull back. The next thing we see is that Will Smith got up from his seat, walked over to the stage where Chris Rock was standing and slapped Chris Rock. Let's have a moment of silence for that while I apply my contour. I believe that I need a moment of silence. So I have finished contouring my face using the Studio Fix Mac. And now I am going to highlight my face. I am going to be using a Studio Fix 24 Hours uh, Smoothwear Concealer on my face. So we had a moment of silence. 
<laughs> now let me continue. Like I said, Will Smith walked over to the stage and slapped Chris Rock. Woo! Then Chris Rock just, <laughs> he made a joke. He took a minute, made a joke saying that I just got smacked. I just got effing smacked by Will Smith. And he went, whew. There was an altercation because there was a sensor, like a five, 10 second sensor because there was back and forth going on. And since it's not appropriate for television, it was censored. Now, overseas, the sensor wasn't there. Everything was heard and seen. I believe if this was a recorded show, the part, all of this would have been removed and we wouldn't even know what had happened in the situation. So let me control my face because I'm getting too excited about this conversation. It is not exciting though. And we'll get to that later. This is what I have. Stop, relax, okay? <laughs> All right, continue with the story. Chris Rock was very composed. He probably could have smacked back if he was someone else. Probably could have done a lot of things if he was someone else. But he stood strong on the ground while he got smacked. He put his hand behind his back not even rubbing his face. He was composed, super professional. After Will Smith smacked him, Will Smith walked back to his seat and started talking about, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. This is a kid-friendly show. So as the Oscars, even though it's at night and kids should be in bed, everybody watched it. By the way, it was the lowest rated Oscar until this happened, the rating went up. I'm sure some people are happy about that. But nevertheless, Chris was very composed. He was very professional. After the smack, he did not rub his face. He did not touch his face. Will Smith was yelling at him from his seat saying, keep my... And Chris said, I will. What did he do? He made a joke saying, whoa, I just effing got smacked by Will Smith on public, on, on, on national television. Some people probably would have got him angry, walk away from the stage. Or some people probably would have just fight back and the yelling would go back and forth. I respected Chris that night because he stood there. He finished presenting like nothing had happened. He presented. He was super composed. He was um very... Uh, I'm sure he was ashamed. He was surprised. Didn't expect that to happen. Uh... He, he, he finished what he was supposed to do that night. So I'm done with my contour and my highlights, and now I am going to be applying a Ben Nye Luxury Powder. I have had this for a very long time. It's a banana powder. I'm going to be applying this over my face, under my eyes. So let's do that. So while I have my powder still baking down there, I'm going to pick up my smoky palette, and I'll be using it for my eye today it's gonna be a soft quick makeup this is new it's not been used before let's use you and these are the colors that are in it so let's play with some of this color today while we have this conversation i can let you go have a break so i'm gonna take this black color right here this is what i'm going to be using on the outer part of my eye. I've actually used some of my contour powder over my eyes, so I will use the black color over it, and then we can go in with this shimmery gold, this shimmery gold right here, and lay, put it on the inside and just play around with the color a little bit while I conclude this conversation about this rock. Like I said, I was so impressed with how Chris handled the situation. He just carried on like nothing had happened and you can just tell in his body language that he was shocked even when will smith was walking towards him he said oh uh oh richard meaning richard is coming richard is the character that will smith played in the movie he won an award for so he chris rock said oh uh oh richard as he was walking towards as Will Smith was walking towards Chris Rock to land him that smack. 
on his face. Let me keep going with my makeup. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna use my hand. Wow, I've not used this before, but this black is something. I kind of like it. I don't mind just using it, but it's wow, it's very pigmented. I oh gosh, I don't like it. I think I love it. Well, let me fill up my brows a bit with this. Ooh, la la! I mean, with this alone, I'm done. I don't need anything else. I love it. So all the comedian came out and they all came out. Not all, majority of these people that I mentioned their name came out and they are all in support of Chris Rock. They don't condone violence. Most of them said, a lot of them said he should sue. We have not heard from Chris Rock, but Will Smith went on, to, uh, on Instagram the following day and left a comment. He made a comment. He apologized to Chris Rock for what he has done. And he said that he was ashamed of his action. Uh, and by the way, after Will Smith smacked Chris Rock, Will Smith went on and received an Oscar. Does that mean that Oscar are supporting or they are in support of Valent? Or does that mean that Will Smith won and he won? Nothing else could be done. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is an ongoing situation and there's new story, new reports, new, new comments, support, disagreement about this that is still going on. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. I'll finish my eye. Why I like to think about this. Oh, I love this. I want to put a bit of it down here. And then I'll do the same. Yeah. I'm using the residual to fill in my brows and I'm loving it so much. Wow, this black is everything. Now I'm going to go into the golden color and apply it on my teardrop. The inner color. Nice. I think that's how far I want to go. This is it. Hmm. I want to create a little bit of a halo in here. Wow, the product is amazing. There's no single one fallout at all. I don't have any fallout. I'm going to reuse my remainder. That is on my brush and just tap it along my nose. I love it. It's also the remainder. I'm just going to go on my eyebrow bone and just, wow, it's a lot on there. It feels like it's nothing, but it's a lot. Let me try to wipe some up and do the same here. My face has been baking for a very long time. <laughs> Let's get it out of the fire. <laughs> so it has not fun. <laughs> and for my blush today, I'm going to be using my Rare Beauty blush. I will be dabbing just a little bit of it on my whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> that lady. I think that's a lot. And then I would try to blend it in with my blush blending brush yeah mm. let's do the same with this so for my eyeliner i just used the rare beauty highlighter i love this eyeliner pencil so much it's liquid it's amazing i've broken it because i've used it so much i just line my eye with it I'm going to do my lips now. So I'm going to apply my lip color. Why am I applying my lip color? I want to take this time to ask you a question, right? My question is, what do you think about the situation? Do you think that Will Smith was wrong or, or do you think he was right? He was defending his wife, according to him. So do you think he was right doing that? And if you were Will Smith, what would you have done? If you were in that situation where someone uh, made a joke about your family member, what would you have done? Would you have done what he did? Yeah? Do you think that Chris Rock was wrong for making that joke? Do you? Before I continue asking you the question, these are the things that I am going to be using for my lips today. I am going to be lining up my lip using the Bold Lip by NK Makeup Lip Liner. And followed by that, I'll be using the Rare Beauty 
lip liner this is in the color of flashless oh i love this one so much and then i'll be topping it up with the rare beauty ascend yeah i like ascend so much and also i will this is a multiple right <laughs> I am going to be using the Tarte Cosmetic. This is my favorite, favorite so far. I'm going to be using the Tarte Cosmetic in the color Festival. I normally just use this two, a lip liner and Festival. And sometimes I use this two, the Ascend, of course, right? The Fearless and Ascend. But for right now, let's apply four colors. Since we're getting jiggy with it. No, 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 no. Hey, okay. So my question to you about Chris Rock is, do you think that Chris Rock was wrong to make the joke? Or do you think he was right and he was okay? it was okay? I'm applying my lip liner. Whoa, the lip liner by itself is, I love it. He should have reacted when he got slapped by Will Smith. If you were Chris Rock, what would you have done? When you got slapped in public, millions or billions of people saw that. If you were Chris Rock, what would you have done? What do you think was running through Chris Rock's mind when that happened? What do you even think was going on through Chris Rock's mind when Will Smith was walking towards him and he said, Uh oh, King Richard. I've applied fearless and I am not afraid to just leave this this way. Do you think that Will Smith was afraid of his wife? If he didn't react the way she was reacting, she would have done something when they got home. Do you think he went up there out of fear because he's been called coward or he even called himself a coward in his book that he wrote, right? Do you think he didn't want to be a coward? That's why he got up and took that move Remember, he laughed at the joke as well, right? He was laughing at that same joke. So what did you think? What did you think about all of this? I'm curious to know. I'm going to apply my Rare Beauty Ascend Lip over this. I mean, after the lip liner, it was perfect already. I didn't need any more. But even after the Fearless, right? I didn't need anything anymore. I could have just leave it like this and say, hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. But, you know, we gotta continue. What do you think was going on through Jada Pinkett Smith's mind when Will Smith laughed at the joke at first? What did you think? When Will Smith got up and went to go slap Chris Rock, what do you think Jada was thinking? Did you think Jada was getting like, ooh, yeah, my man? Or did he say, uh oh, uh oh, why did he do that? Or did he say, yes, it's about time you stand up for me? What did you think? Leave all this in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation. Oh, I like this. Did you just realize that I just layered three, no, two lipstick on top of each other. I'm going to do three, a liner, the lipstick and everything. I just layered them all on top of each other. Did you just realize that? Oh my goodness. Was I thinking when I'm applying all of this and layering them on top of each other? Was Will Smith thinking when he got up from his seat, walk all the way to the stage, release his hand? from his body and swing it over and hit Chris Rock on the face. Was he thinking? And then he turned around, adjusted, walked back to his seat. Was he thinking? Because I wasn't thinking when I realized I was gonna be using four, when I decided to use four lip layers on my lip, but it looks good though. One more to go. And now I'm going to be applying the Tarte Cosmetic and this is in Color Festival on my lips. Now, before I apply this, let me ask you one of my last question. If you were Will Smith, what would you have done? If you were Chris Rock, what would you have done in the situation? And or are you 50-50? Did you, is it okay for Will Smith to defend his family? Yes. Is it okay for him to put a hand on someone? Is that a yes or no for you? Are you 50-50 in this situation? Tell us why you're 50-50 in this situation. Tell us why you're zero support of either one of them in this situation. In the comment section below, tell us why you're 100% supporting one person and not the other person because a lot of the celebrity have gone on to, to support Chris Rock publicly while some of people have also supported him are behind. And obviously, you know, 
some people like some people and they might call will smith and say oh we support you he shouldn't have done that mind you chris rock and will smith were friends we fought right and this happened what happens to the relationship we've had apologies from from will smith to chris rock We've not heard from Chris Rock at all. But Chris Rock have a show coming up and the show tickets are skyrocketed. People are buying it. Talk of the town. Just a few hours ago, Will Smith have come to apologize to Chris Rock saying that he has personally reached out to Chris Rock but Chris Rock said that he is not ready to talk yet. Do Chris Rock need time? It's been almost a year now, right? Isn't it? Or how long ago was this? Was it earlier this year? Or was it last year? Well, Chris Rock is still healing from all that has happened. Will Smith has gone on to take time to apologize privately, he said, and also publicly to Chris Rock. Is Will Smith's apology sincere? Should Will Smith's apology be accepted by Chris Rock? Is Chris Rock overreacting for not accepting or coming out publicly to accept Will Smith's apology? What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Now I'm gonna pop in my lashes and we can round up today's chat. Oh well, today's story deserves a drink. And my drink of today is my lovely coconut water and a slice of my green apple on here thank you so much for being a part of this conversation today wait let me drink because i feel like i've been talking for so long i hope you're taking a drink with me cheers guys and be sure to join the conversation on the comment section below so we've come to the end of the video and have this conversation with us answer the question tell me what you think let's have a chat going in the comment section i want to know your thoughts i'm going to share my thoughts with you down there as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel be sure to thumbs up like and turn on your notification button so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video and be sure to share my content Thank you so much for being a part of my video. I know that you can see me. I know that you know that I can feel you watching me. Thank you and God bless. Love. Bye. Cheers. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Um, I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did and you know that was one of the things about that moment I just didn't realize and you know I wasn't thinking but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family, uh, specifically Tony Rock. You know we had a great relationship. You know Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this is this is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and and the complexities of what happened in in that moment. Um, and I'm not going to try to unpack all of that right now. But I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insults. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, I'm going to say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us, um, to all my fellow nominees. You know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me. And it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen 
and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award. And, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry really isn't sufficient. What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down? Um, so there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I hate when I let people down. Um, so it, it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. And the work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself, right? I'm human and I made a mistake and I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking, um, but I, I promise you, I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And, you know, if you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again.